The MacBook Pro has always been the benchmark for all pro laptops with its beautiful and powerful hardware combined with optimized software with this year's 2016 MacBook Pro cutting all legacy ports and having no SD card slot and a massive price tag is it still deserving of the name Pro? What's up YouTube Ashraf here Tech Appreciated taking a look at this year's 2016 MacBook Pro let's actually see if it's worth your money if you're planning to get this be prepared to carry dongles because it has no USB legacy ports, no SD card slot or external monitor slot. However, the most upsetting feature removed is the revolutionary MagSafe charger. It does have two Thunderbolt 3 USB ports for faster file transfer. It could be the future in a couple years, but not being able to bang my SD card slot in there is really annoying. But of course, it does have a headphone jack. I've noticed the massive trackpad on it. It's the new generation force touch pad and it's perfect. Using it feels really responsive. Apple have really outdone themselves on these trackpads, they're really best in class. It's, non, it's a non moving trackpad so it doesn't really click but Apple have the technology of haptic feedback and makes it sound and feel like a click and you can use the force touch on this to pop up new windows open and it's really good. Swear the keyboard is the new generation of Apple's butterfly keyboard with its super shallow key travel that some people actually really hate but I have to say after using it for a week it feels so natural and the click is very tactile and loud. Retina displays have always been a thing of beauty with this year's one having a few tweaks with a higher color gamut and a brighter display like the iPhone 7 it really is something to look at from every angle. The display is 67% brighter that gives a whopping look to all those full HDs, 2K, 4K and any K you want to display. Moving on with the speakers, Apple have just outdone themselves here. They are just the best in class giving a solid and clear sound even at full volume. I didn't even ever think there was going to be a time when we are going to review laptop speakers. But after the MacBook Pro I think you have to compare these to all the other laptops out there. The MacBook Pro will easily last you a whole working day Well, Apple claims that you can get 10 hours from a single charge but if you're using it for editing purposes like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere I've got around about 6 to 8 hours from it which I can't complain but if you're using it for web surfing and media consuming it will easily last you up to that 9 to 10 hours Is it worth it though? Well, Apple have definitely rocked the boat by cutting all the legacy ports and basically making you dongle it but if you can look past all that the MacBook is still definitely a pro it may not be for the average user at a price tag of £1449 but if you're into video or photo editing this is still definitely the best in class thanks for watching guys if you're feeling good hit that like button if you think the MacBook Pro is worth it leave a comment down below Please share the video and please subscribe. Until next time guys, peace.